Hello and I think it is probably good evening to everyone at the Open Air Conference in Arnhem in the Netherlands. I'm speaking here as you can see from my garden in St Albans. It's rather a dull time of year in England and the light is better outside so forgive me for the corny symbolism of speaking to you in the open air. I'm very pleased that my publisher OBP has been able to synchronise the open source publication date of my new book to coincide with that of your conference. They specialise in the humanities and the story of healthcare and information technology is fundamentally a human story. So I was delighted that they took it on. The Netherlands has been the home of many pioneering initiatives in our field, including those of my great colleague Jan van Bemmel, who was an international pioneer of clinical signal processing and medical informatics. I first met him in the early 1970s when visiting the TNO Research Institute in Utrecht in context of my then focus on the mathematical modelling of clinical physiology. It is wonderful that the Netherlands is taking on early leadership in the creation of national affiliate organisations of open air. This candlestick beside me is the work of Jörg Jensen from nearby Denmark and was given to me by Niels Rossing when he came to England to give a talk at the formal opening of my new department at UCL in 1996, I think it was. Niels was the organising genius of the European Union's Advanced Informatics in Medicine initiative in the late 1980s, where open air began. Also beside me is the Certificate of Incorporation of the Open Air Foundation in 2003. My book is akin to an Aboriginal songline, combining stories of the past, present and future creation of our field. It's been a four year example of Think in Ink, discovering the book by writing it. Open Air has, in similar vein, been about learning how to do something by doing it. I hope the book will be both useful and in parts fun to read. There must be some 500 people who are mentioned in the course of its pages and indexed there. It would be improper to select from these names here, but all are warmly acknowledged. A warm thank you to all of you who have made it possible and contributed in so many ways. Rachel and Sharef will reflect on their experience of the book. Rachel has read the penultimate manuscript twice, she tells me, over recent months and brought fresh eyes and experience to think about how it might prove a useful resource, both for open air and more widely. Sheriff, formerly my doctoral student at UCL, has switched roles and been akin to a sheriff in supervising and regulating the writing of the book, chapter by chapter, over three evolving drafts. At my stage of life, in the changing world of the information society that is coming, one is wise to both listen to one's children and students and those who one serves and focus on helping future leaders to find their own feet and voice. Thank you to both of them for bringing the book to you today on its date of publication and over to them here. Bye for now.